4 p.m. Eastern time, we have got Louisiana heading to Virginia to face off against Liberty and Mr. Hugh Freeze. Really fascinating coaching matchup. Uh, Liberty, a four and a half point favorite here. Total of 53 and a half. I'm going to let you start us off. I, man, I look at these numbers and I am just, I, I don't, I, I'll, I'll let you start. What, what are your thoughts here? Let's, uh, no, I, I, I like, I, uh, I like Louisiana. I like the right state here. I think they're the better football team. They really are. You know, we, there, there was a time where Liberty was the hot team before the season started. We thought they could have a special year. I've seen enough of them to know this team is good, but they're not special. Not that Louisiana is either, but I'll take them with a head start because I think they can win the game. I kind of think they will win the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at these numbers, and it, they, these two teams just look so identical, right? I do think that Liberty has no, the, the better. the quarterback play on one team is significantly better but I think Louisiana is better than them a little bit at everything else. Well, that's so. That's what I was getting at. Is that obviously Malik Willis is is an NFL caliber kind of guy. Yeah, he's um, he's the special player. But go ahead. If if you just look at all the advanced stats, you know i I do think Louisiana matches up relatively well with Liberty. Yeah, I do too. So I, I, I think Louisiana is better than them. I I think overall. I, I mean, my line on this was Louisiana minus two, and when it came out minus yeah, four and a half the other way, I said, whoa, like, I'm missing something. Yeah. No, I thought this game was going to be real close to a pick em, and if I had to favor one by, by a point or a half point, I would have I would have given it to Louisiana over over, uh, over Liberty. And so when I saw, it wasn't just Liberty minus. It was Liberty minus four and a half. It was Liberty minus more than a field goal. You know, I thought, okay. All right, I, I'm going to take the Cajuns. I, I think they're a better team from top to bottom, except for the quarterback position. But it's not like they have just a toad at quarterback. You know, they they can play football. They're really good. I will I will say this. All right, so the coaching matchup thing is kind of interesting because there is the idea that, of course, Hugh Freeze not being mentioned for some of these other jobs. Maybe he comes out and he's got some stuff that's set up for him. Right? Maybe. Maybe he's really irritated about this, and the team is irritated for him, or something. I don't. It, it's something along those lines. And then on the other side, this is not a this is not a Sun Belt game for Louisiana. If Billy Napier is only really interested in um, in knocking out, like if he's only interested in handling the Sun Belt stuff and winning a championship that way, then maybe this game doesn't matter. They've got Louisiana Monroe next week. That's a rivalry game. There's a lot that could go into play. You really think a guy like Billy Napier doesn't care about every game? Like, have you seen anything about him and his coaching style to think that he didn't take every game absolutely serious? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm with you. I see where you're coming from. I'm going to take Louisiana plus four and a half. Like, I, I just yeah, looks, yeah, I, I, it feels like a field goal game. It looks fishy. The only thing that scares me is, is the line looks fishy. Yeah, that's that's the scary part, right? I think they're begging us to take Louisiana, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> like I'm just going to fall right in that trap. Let's go. Let's let's. You know what? I'll fall in there with you. I'm uh I'm all over it. Louisiana plus four and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.